I'm currently working on a project which is all around young people using aggression and violence and threatening behaviour towards their parents. And in point of fact, what mostly I'm discovering is it's young um, boys, predominantly, using it against their mothers. It's very difficult, it's very shaming and painful and difficult to tell anyone, let alone a professional, that your own child is being aggressive, is maybe physically hurting you and harming you in some way. And I think for many professionals, it's also quite um, frightening, really, to think, gosh, how do I support something which sounds almost against nature, that a child would turn on their adult carer and physically harm them in some way. What I've uncovered in my work is that all the young people have experienced um, large amounts of early childhood trauma. Teenagers who can't say how they feel, but they have massive feelings and all day long they're, they're carrying all these huge feelings around inside them. It's coming out in their behaviour or it's going inwards in that they're hurting themselves. When I show them Baby Bear, they sit. And these are, these are teenagers, or mostly boys, who wouldn't normally read a book, any book. And I hand them my book and I just say, oh, you know, I just wondered what you thought. Would you like to have a look? And they take my book and they sit and they read every single word in it. And that is so humbling for me that they would get it straight away. And I, and I say to them, you know, so is it all right? And they'll go, mm, it's okay. But that, mm, it's okay, just tells me everything. And there'll be, sometimes there's a little, little sniff. But you know, it's, they didn't have this book. They didn't have somebody who sat with them and help them when they were three or four or five to find the names for the feelings that they have inside. And what we know is that the trauma histories and the trauma stories of the parent and the child are extensive. So there are no quick fixes. You know, it is about very much enabling the parent to see beyond the child's behaviour but also um, in school, you know, a lot of the young people get excluded from school because their behaviour is, is so extreme and um, often quite threatening in school as well. So the whole process is about giving the young people understanding of why they're operating the way they are, that they're not bad, that actually there is a reason for it, and also the parents, and trying to build back some empathy and trying to encourage a tuning in on both sides, but particularly under the huge umbrella of empathy and emotional understanding. <laughs>